Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this absolutely gorgeous BMW 118i M Sport five-door automatic. It is absolutely stunning. Truly stunning. First registered in June 2006, it's coming on an 06 plate has three former keepers and has covered just under 72 and a half thousand miles with a full service history, the last service done in September last year, and that was done at just under 71,000 miles. It's coming with 12 months MOT, but that is just the half of what this car is really coming with. First of all, in this absolutely gorgeous, I mean, breathtakingly gorgeous. It really is stunning to look at. Esteril blue metallic, just looks fabulous. Uh, it's got the M Sport styling pack, so the M Sport aerodynamic pack with those spoilers, uh, the side skirts, and topped off with those beautiful 17 inch M Sport alloy wheels. Also got front fog lights, rear parking sensors, multifunction steering wheel, air conditioning, and to top it all off, an absolutely gorgeous full cream leather interior. I say cream, it's grey cream. I'm going to call it grey actually. I've said cream though now, it's out there. You make the decision, you be the judge, but I'm going to get up close and personal with this car because I want to show you exactly what you're coming down to see. It's in fabulous condition, especially considering its age and its mileage. So I just want to show you the bonnet first of all, and there's no scratches, there's no dents or anything of the sort. There is some stone chips, very minor. I'll just show you some down here. So you've got one there and one there. Uh, there's another one as well, just up here. I'm being very fussy, but I'm showing you this because I want you to know exactly what you're coming down to see. Uh, both of those front lights you can see are crystal clear. No issue there with them getting condensation, which is very common, not the worst thing in the world, but I'm just showing you that we haven't got it on here. A Couple of little chips off the paint here on the uh, front grill where you've got those beautiful kidney grills uh, that haven't been tampered with to look like it's something it's not. So it's properly original those. Uh, and you'll know what I'm talking about and you see some of these with these different colors over here, which you can add on if you want to, if it's your cup of tea. Couple of chips on the bumper just over here. And I'm gonna come around this side of the bumper as well, just to show you a couple of little scratches as well on the front bumper. Not to be uh, unexpected. Oh, and you can see my very funky shoes there. Uh, that's not what I'm showing you. I'm trying to show you these little lines just here on the front bumper. Uh, this can be sorted out relatively easily. I mean, it's simply just a case of uh, respraying and repairing that corner. It's not the end of the world and it's not gonna cost a fortune to fix. Have a chat with us here because at Sell Your Car UK, we can facilitate that. There's a little scratch just along here, uh, which may come out with a full machine polish. Hard to see, I'm trying to show you it as best I can. There you go, you can just about make out a very faint line there. I'm being fussy, but I'm showing you this because I don't want you to come down and see the car and have any uh, unexpected and nasty necessarily as well, surprises. Just showing you there, for example, a couple of little scratches. It is a used car. It came into us as a part exchange. It's going out with us having spent some money on it in mechanical terms, but having done nothing cosmetically because really the car doesn't need it. It's fabulous. I'm showing you an alloy wheel here that's uh, virtually unmarked. There is a tiny little bit of chipping going on here, but otherwise, uh, oh, and a little bit more here. Take it as red that if you want to refurbish these wheels, it can be done quite easily. They're all perfectly uh, solid. They're round, they're not misshapen, they're not cracked. Uh, and they're also got good tires on them. The front tires have got these fabulous Pirelli P7s with loads of life left in them. There's also plenty of life as well left on the discs and pads. Hard to show you in this video, but if you want to do any inspections, we welcome all and any inspections, whether it's you and a friend tinkering, or if you've got a mechanic, you'd like to have a look at it, or indeed if you want to organize an AA or an RAC inspection, that's fine by us here at Sell Your Car UK. Uh, I'm just going to do my patented bounce test, just showing you down the side of the car. You can see the beautiful deep paintwork. There's no dents or dimples in there where people have opened their car doors into it. We do have a small scratch that is down here on the passenger front door. Uh, it can be touched in. Indeed, you could even respray this section if you so wish. Uh, it's coming as you see it here in this video though. We're not gonna be doing any work to that part. Uh, if you want us to, we can do, obviously a little bit of an extra cost. Uh, also on the door handle here, some little chips. Looks like somebody has opened their door into this part of the car, or perhaps somebody's opened this door into somebody else's. 
let's not think about that. I'm sure they're lovely people who've owned this car. As I said, it's three former keepers, uh, four current, in, if you include the current one, so you would be the fifth owner of this car, which isn't too bad, really, when you think about a car that is now 11 years old, or going to be in June anyway. Uh, just carrying on down the passenger side of the car, just showing you that it's in lovely condition as we come now to the rear wheel. Uh, this rear wheel has got some curbing as well, very minor. Uh, and you can also see a little bit of dirt in here. Uh, that dirt is actually on the wheel. A little bit of uh, refurb might be required, but really you've got to know it's there. You've got to look for it. You can see we've got locking wheel nuts. We've got the key for that. Good discs. Might be new, uh, need renewing in a service or two, uh, but lots of life left in the pads. And on the back here, you've got a very, very, very healthy Continental tyre, uh, and the rear tyres are both Continentals. Coming round the rear, the bumper's in great condition. No scuffs or scratches over here, as you can see. I'm just showing you the corner. Once again, you can see my lovely shoes. And now you can see me. Hello! Uh, and I'm showing you now parking sensors. So you've got rear parking sensors on this car, which is a very sought after option, as I'm sure you're probably nodding at the screen right now. Uh, on the back here, there are some tiny little scratches, very faint from where things have obviously been loaded in and out of the car. Hopefully you can see that for yourself. I'm being, as I say all the time here, being very fussy, but I want you to be aware of exactly what you're coming down to see. Looking at the tailgate here, again, just do my little bounce. See that paint's in good condition. We've not done any bodywork work to this car at all. Uh, we could do, if you want us to, uh, we can do whatever you want here. We've got great contacts in the trade, but we have spent a bit of money mechanically. Uh, I'll come to that in due course. Uh, again, this side over here, there's a very small mark here if I'm being particularly uh, fussy. But I want to show you that, but otherwise it's in good condition. No scrapes, looks lovely. And indeed, when you stand back, this car just looks absolutely gorgeous. Really does, I love it. Uh, now again, just gonna do a little bit of bouncing. So you can see, no dents. If you have your look all the way down the side of the car there, you can see a really nice crystal clear reflection in the paint. It's coming up absolutely lovely. Another great Continental tire over on this corner. And another pretty decent alloy wheel. Again, some little bits of curbing to the edges. And again, hard to show you, but decent discs and good pads in there as well. As I said, those discs should last you at least another couple of services. Uh, this side of the car could do with a bit of a polish. Uh, it has been hand polished, but we, uh, we can machine polish it, should you so wish. That would get that mark out relatively easily. And likewise as well, this little scratch down here. Uh, that wouldn't actually get rid of that scratch, but it would certainly disguise it. Uh, and then really the rest of this car is lovely. I mean, if I come down the side here, you can see that for yourself. Good paint, the little chips here where some evil person has opened this door into somebody else's and you've got similar scratches to the other door handle over the other side here on this driver's side door handle, but otherwise in very nice condition. I'm not going to excuse that kind of behaviour and indeed I'm not going to say, well, the car is a certain age. It does happen, but as I say, the car's come into us as a part exchange. We've done some fantastic work to the car in terms of mechanically getting it absolutely perfect for whoever takes the car. We've been using it ourselves actually as a courtesy car, lending it out to people who uh, we've got their car for a short period of time. So they've been using this one and it's proven to be a very, very popular car indeed. A real hit amongst our customers. Uh, this is probably the worst offender in terms of the alloy wheels. You could just see there some of the curbing marks and I'm just going the whole way around this wheel. Now, if you want to get these refurbished, you can use us to do so, or if you know someone yourself personally, uh, if you want these a different color, we can talk about that or, <coughs> excuse me, a full powder coat refurb. <coughs> Easy for me to say. A full powder coat refurb uh, is what I would personally recommend. It's a bit more expensive. If you want to get that done, then we'll be happy to facilitate that. Now over to this corner here, just to show you a tiny little mark just there, but otherwise in very, very good condition indeed. You can see that for yourself with those low level fog lights. And that brings us back to where we started from. So the next thing we need to do now is have a look inside. Now it's only coming with the one key. It is a remote central locking key and it looks like this. Push the little button there to unlock the car. 
and let's take a look at that fabulous interior. Now it is grey leather, I know I kind of hinted it being cream of it before, but uh, in actual fact it is grey. I just want to show you this quickly actually, just while I think about it. This door handle here, uh, when you open it, tends to get stuck. Give it a little push. There you go, you see that? Relatively annoying, but not the end of the world. I just want to show you that. As I said, no surprises. If you're coming down to see the car, you know exactly what you are coming down to see. And bear in mind as well, I've priced this car very much taking into consideration all of the facts. Uh, having a look here, one of the facts I've taken into consideration is a little bit of wear on the driver's seat. Now this is to be expected in a BMW that's got full leather interior. This is not fake leather, this is full leather interior. Uh, and you can see here with the wear that that proves that point perfectly. Uh, because if this was fake leather, obviously there would be no wear. Uh, but at the same time, it wouldn't have the same kind of comfort and the same kind of style. Uh, and so I'm just showing you that here for yourself so you know exactly what you're coming down to get. It's lovely style though. It looks beautiful, especially contrasting with the exterior colours as well. Just really works beautifully. Uh, now you've got front electric windows. The rear windows are uh, wound down by handle. Old school. Uh, there's no electrically folding wing mirrors, but they are electrically operated. Uh, I'll jump in the car now. And I'll just show you first of all here that you've got auto lights. I'll just wait for that to focus a little bit better. If it's going to. Are you going to? No? There we are. You can see we've got auto lights. You've also got the controls there for your fog lights front and rear. And a little thing over here just to adjust the height of the lights. I'm going to take uh, a second here just to start the car. Give me a moment now. I'm just going to move the seat back. There we are, let's get comfortable. Uh, the way this car works, you've got a stop-start system where you insert the key as such, keep your foot on the brake, pushing the start-stop button, and it starts with no issues whatsoever. That 3.2 down there, that 3200 06 2017, that's the service that is due on it next. Uh, you can scroll through that using these little controls here on the dash, so I'll just do that for a moment here, just to show you, uh, where are we? Here we are, service info. So the standard scope is due in June of 2016. Likewise, the front discs have about 3,200 miles, sorry, those are pads, 3,200 miles left on them. Brake fluid change not due till June of 2018. Uh, that's your air cooler, not due for 29,000 miles or July 2018. Oil not due for 24,000 miles or September 2018. And the rear brakes have got 8,000 miles left on the pads. This is a full inspection service, which is not due on the car until June of 2020, or 29,000 miles, which is a long, long time. Spark plugs aren't needed for the car for 33,000 miles. Uh, there we have it. That's the full service history of the car that you need to worry about. That's upcoming servicing. So really, there's nothing needs to be spent on this car. Like I said, mechanically, we've really taken care of this car for you. So you do not have to do anything except put fuel in it, insure it, tax it and drive it. It's coming with 12 months MOT uh, at the time of recording. That may go down as we do use this car and it's getting MOT'd uh, February 2017. That's the mileage there, 72,419. Expect that to go up a little bit, but not too much. Running beautifully, it must be said. I do enjoy driving this car. Uh, miles per gallon wise, it's not the uh, most uh, oh, I'll just press the check button there just to show you everything's running absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, it's not the most economical car in the whole wide world. Uh, returning about 22.2 miles to the gallon, uh, and that's uh, over... Oh, hang on. Uh, that's with an average speed of 20.3 miles an hour. So that's pretty town driving, and that's not too bad. Uh, moving away from there, let's focus now on the sensor console here. And you can see we've got the BMW Business CD system in the car. Uh, which is a pretty standard piece of kit. It's got a CD slot just up here and a nice radio with RDS. Uh, not DAB digital radio, but the radio sounds lovely as well. Let me just give you a sample. That's all I can play or else YouTube will charge me for it. Um, royalty fees, yes, they are payable. Uh, right, the other thing as well what I want to show you here is the air conditioning. Now this is actually, I said air conditioning, but this is a bit more special than air conditioning. This is the dual zone climate control system uh, that is very sought after in BMW. So over here, you've got a control that controls the temperature of my side, the driver's side, and over here, you've got controls for the passenger side. 
You've also got heated screens front and rear and that little snowflake just there. That is your air conditioning button. The air conditioning is working perfectly in this car. It gets cold very, very quickly. Uh, the other thing as well that's working absolutely perfectly, I'm delighted to say, obviously, is this gearbox. It's a six speed gearbox with manual override and sport mode. You can adjust the gears yourself using the gear lever. Uh, finally, and it is really finally, we've also got a multifunction steering wheel. Over here you can control your uh, stereo controls and over here I think more controls actually for the stereo controls but it's a nice touch it is sought after uh, the lights as I said are auto the windscreen wipers are not those are adjustable yourself uh, and I think that's pretty much covered everything oh we've got a nice armrest here oh it's not quite covered everything uh, the armrest has storage and underneath it there is another uh, power outlet and an auxiliary in should you want to plug in something uh, which will play out through the stereo so if you've got a headphone jack on your iPhone or your uh, mp3 player whatever it might be very useful for uh, playing music out in the car. Very safe car, you've got Isofix in the back. I'm just showing you some curtain airbags here uh, in the side of the windscreen. You've also got a passenger airbag, uh, of course the ubiquitous driver's airbag. Uh, and in the back, as I mentioned, you do have Isofix points. So if you wanna plug babies in, then you can do. Quite a useful car if you have got small children. Uh, you can fit a buggy in the boot, which I'll show you in due course. Uh, and in fact, I think that's pretty much everything in the car that I need to show you. I'll just turn it off. We're not gonna go for a drive in this video. If you wanna drive it, then by all means, get in touch with us here at Sell Your Car UK. I'm more than happy for you to come down and do a test drive. Uh, and obviously I would insist, to be honest with you. Uh, this gorgeous M Sport steering wheel, I'll just show you there's a little bit of wear just at the base of it here, uh, and also just around the buttons as well. Like I said, I'm showing you everything in this video I can possibly think of. Uh, I'm gonna come around the back. In fact, there's something else I wanna show you as well. Uh, these kick plates in the back have suffered a little bit uh, with some sort of water ingress, I think, I don't know. Uh, not worth replacing them, but I'm showing you them so there's no surprises. The interior is in very nice condition. You've got three by three point seat belts, three headrests, uh, which fold down like the one there in the middle so you can see better out of the rear if you're not using the seats. You've also got mat pockets in the back as well for a little bit of added storage. Uh, oh, something else I didn't show you with the front seats as well really nice feature uh, is this uh, which kind of flips out here you can see that so if you want a bit more comfort under your um, under your knees I think it would be around under your thighs uh, then you can do so uh, with that little control and that's for both front and uh, front passenger and driver. You've also got mats throughout the car. Uh, the driver's one, as you can see, the one that's been used most, but the uh, passenger one over here is in lovely, lovely condition, as are the ones in the back. I'm just gonna go around the other side and just briefly show you the condition over here, because as I say, you've got the same thing going on over here with that kick plate. No idea why. If you wanna replace them, I'll get you a price on that, but I wouldn't bother. Uh, and in the back here, just showing you those mats genuine BMW originals and again really lovely conditions you can see over here show you in the uh, front here now these are uh, these kick plates in the front haven't suffered like the ones in the back it's all to do with materials uh, they are height adjustable seats both front driver and passenger which is a nice touch as well and there's also the electrically controlled lumbar support button as well for both front driver and passenger Beautiful car this, it really is, it's gorgeous. Uh, right, I'm gonna come around the back because in true Sell Your Car UK style, in the boot, we have got all of the documents for you to see in the video. Now, first thing I just wanna show you is the service book. So the last service was done on the car on the 27th of September, 2016. You can see that that was done at 70,762 miles, and that was done by a company called Premier Auto Care. Uh, the previous service of that, done in November 2014 at 66,000 miles, that included the air cleaner element, vehicle check, uh, and the engine oil. Uh, if you go back as well, we've got more service here from 62,632, 34,215, and the first service we can see here was done at 17,050 miles. So that service book is coming with the car. Uh, the next service is due, as the dash said, in about 3,000 miles uh, or in June of 2017. Uh, now, having a look across here, 
we can see uh, lots of handbooks, lots of manuals. That all comes in this very neat little wallet. Uh, we've got some bills here for work that we've done to the car to keep it on the road and keep it running beautifully. Uh, they'll be coming with the car or copies of them will. We don't have any other bills. They weren't given to us by the person who used the car as part exchange. We've got the V5 though, the logbook, and that's showing, as I said, three former keepers fourth is the current you'll be the fifth and we've also got a bit of MOT history as well with the car uh, this is the previous MOT that expired in November 2016 uh, the car is actually coming with 12 months MOT a little bit of an oversight by us here at Sell Your Car UK but it's getting MOT'd pretty much as soon as this video is done so it's coming with as good as 12 months on it uh, and of course it will go down depending on when you're watching this video and if you're buying it uh, first aid kit over here also a little bit of storage as well and underneath there these are running on space saver wheel uh, on uh, run flat tires so under here is not a spare wheel uh, it's just the battery basically for the car and a few other bits in fact it's not the battery what am i talking about it's uh, oh it is the battery yes i thought so uh, and over here you've got the locking wheel nut and some tools as well uh, the spare wheel is uh, non-existent because as i say it runs on run flat tires these which if you want to change them you can do and then you just need to put into the boot there one of those get your home uh, refill canisters to pump some glue or whatever it is that they pump into the tires should you get a flat so there we have it that's absolutely everything that i can possibly think of uh, i mentioned these isofix but also you might have noticed you have 60 40 split folding rear seats uh, you've also got that parcel shelf which is in perfect working order it's a beautiful car this it runs beautifully it looks beautiful it really does turn heads i love this color and of course it's a five door m sport with all that m aerodynamic package m sport suspension m sport wheel m sport seats it's a phenomenally comfortable ride it drives beautifully just how you would want a bmw to drive and of course in perfect mechanical working order if you're after the car and you want a warranty we can help you with that here at sell your car uk likewise if you need to take finance out on it do have a chat with us about that and if you've got your own part exchange that you'd like to use in the deal then do have a chat with us as we can facilitate that as well here at sell your car uk but there is only one place to get this absolutely gorgeous bmw 118 im sport and that is exclusively using the services here at Sell Your Car UK. Thanks very much for watching.